takeover. That is what city council members in one local town are trying to prevent, passing a new rule there to stop dollar stores from replacing a closing pharmacy. New at 3, 19 News reporter Steven Hernandez tells us about the moratorium and what could open up instead. A question for the people of Painesville. What do you think of small box stores? Councilman Derek Abney believes there's already too many. And in this particular area, we already have three here already. City Council unanimously approving a moratorium in their last meeting to stop new approvals for stores like Dollar Tree, Family Dollar, and Dollar General. The decision comes as this CVS on Erie Street is set to close in just a few weeks. And we're looking at this Rite Aid maybe across the street, which I'm not for sure of, but it, if it was to close also, that would leave us only with one drugstore in the town to service more than 20,000 residents. Cindy Lord with the Lake County Free Clinic says specifically replacing spots like pharmacies for discount stores could have long-term effects for cities like Painesville. If you are an individual with low income and you have maybe limited access to a car, walking two and a half, three miles is probably not the best idea. The moratorium will give city leaders time to assess the impact of these businesses and figure out what other buildings could take over the space left behind by the CVS pharmacy. The moratorium will be in effect for 12 months, but there is a possibility another business may step in and open its doors before it expires. We just don't want anything over here. We want to make sure we understand what comes in here and thinking long term. As city leaders prepare to open up for discussion about the future of this lot, people like Lord hope the health of those in town remains a priority. It would be nice to see a place where there are fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, um, you know, fresh produce, fresh items. In Painesville, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News. Coming up next, at three cars being stolen, vandalized. Look at the windows broken in. Time and time again, this is happening in a local apartment complex. The 19 troubleshooter team checking out the damage and asking what can be done to improve safety.